Hello YouTube, this video is for those who are looking for an idea on how to do this assessment or taking classes at Capella University and you want to know what it's like. So this is assessment one for the class NHS FlexPath 6004. I took this class as part of my master's curriculum in nurse informatics and I hope you'll find it helpful. This is a title page. Um, as you can see, this um, class's title is Healthcare Law and Policy. This paper is about dashboard metrics evaluation report, and it consists of eight pages total. Dashboard metrics evaluation report. Mercy Medical Center stands out among the leaders in the region and achieves excellent results in providing the necessary and highest quality care and services. Villa Health, no date. The above said publication has indicated that this hospital has received many awards, including being the safest surgery hospital. The facility was also awarded for being patient center for um, 2020 and 2021, as the following will illustrate. Villa Health, no date. However, to promote the crucial healthcare processes, procedures, and planning that define the possibility of enhancing performance results, the healthcare organization has to examine the existence poor performance listed on the dashboard. A detailed analysis of the assessment finding shows the gaps and dismal performances. It will guide the interaction among healthcare workers, which is critical in executing the corrective measures required to enhance quality. Evaluation of um, dashboard metrics. The patient records and trends have been noted to have various issues after the evaluating the dashboard. There are metrics in the hospital data that need to um, meet the benchmark for the organization. Looking at the eye exams in quarter three, we see underperformance when we compare the records in both uh, 2019 and 2020. In quarter three uh, of 2019, the number of eye exams completed was 60, representing 48.78% of the total eye examinations in that year, while in quarter 3 2020, the number of eye exams declined to 58, representing 47.15%. Villa Health, no date. Um, this shows that um, the eye exams in quarter 3 between 2019 and 2020 declined by 2 in the two years, showing underperformance. In 2020, 232 total eye examinations were undertaken among 563 diagnosed diabetic patients, which represents a 41% completion rate, while the national target, according to Healthy People 2030, is 70.3%. Healthy People 2030, no date. It also shows an underperformance. Um, similarly, the food exams declined by 8 in quarter two of uh, 2019, the food exams were 58, 47.15%. In quarter two 2020, the food exams declined to 50, uh, which is 40.65%, reducing performance. Villa Health, no date. The noted performance is below the desired state and federal standard that diabetes A1C and other diabetes-related diagnostic tests that should be conducted at least twice a year. According to the Agency for Health Research and Qualities, AHRQ standards, the foot exams should be 84%, showing that they did not meet the required standards. Villa Health, no date. At the same time, the number of um, hemoglobin A1C tests um, has decreased sharply from 123 in 2019 quarter 1 to only 6 in 2019 quarter 4. These tests are used in the evaluation of glycemia as well as diabetes complications and thus uh, reduced testing is significant health issue. Of 123 patients, only 48.7% had taken the hemoglobin N1C tests in quarter 4 of 2019, which is still lower than 79.5% of the national average. Villa Health, no date. Regarding the recorded rates of diagnostic tests, the clinic did not manage to provide the specific frequency of the hemoglobin AYC tests, as people with diabetes should undergo such tests twice a year, 
and the mentioned facility did not meet this requirement, especially for patients aged 40 years and over during the two years, Brady et al. 2021. The inability to get um, two estimated hemoglobin A1C results within two years produces issues like diabetic complications and poor diabetic management. This has led to underperformance as highlighted in this report by poor health among those with diabetes across genders, various races, ethnicities, and ages with a higher prevalence recorded among those above 40 years of age. Villa Health, no date. Um, it is still difficult to determine if the staffing of Mercy Medical Center has a diverse choice. Still, it is also a possible reason behind such issues, mainly connected with the health of the representatives of minorities. In particular, their ethnic um, homogeneous population may discourage minorities from using healthcare services. Therefore, up to 73 new diabetes cases reported may be even less than the real issue, as stated by Gwens et al. 2020. Additionally, it is still unclear whether patients are screened or provided with needed community resources related to social determinants of health, SDOH, so um, they can attend their appointments, as Brady et al. 2021 indicated. This has resulted in poor service delivery, which could probably be why there was a decline in the number of food examinations conducted. One example of multiple staff and services is that single visit entails coordination to ensure that patients receive safe and quality services and they present a relationship between failed collaborations and care quality. According to the study's conclusion, the target patient base does not have access to quality services due to um, issues of staff, teamwork, and um, in an adequate understanding of cultural and minority issues, AHRQ 2021. Educating healthcare workers um, in and practitioners' modern collaboration factors and interdisciplinary methods is the only solution to the problem. The outcomes will be um, screening enhancement um, distinctively and um, advancing to overall quality and safety of patient care. For example, based on the Mercy Medical um, Center case scenario, the tests offered did not include cultural, language, or educational limitations. Consequences of not meeting prescribed benchmarks. It may be challenging or impossible to fulfill the changes that increase standards because of the staffing numbers. The challenges affecting the provision of care services in this industry include the team diversity and staffing. For example, out of the total 5%, the origin falls um, on, under um, the origin falls under another group, including Hispanics, Blacks, and people of mixed ethnicity. Villa Health, uh, no date. Lack of communication, inadequate information, cultural incompetence, and the absence of essential patient education may also influence the level of cultural diversity in the hospital and this requests rates as estimated by the standards. Lack of compliance with specified standards or uh, performance indicators for quality and preventative care may cause significant effects on the healthcare organization that operates Mercy Medical Center. Strategically, poor performance in diabetes managing, management could be um, detrimental to attaining their organization's mission and vision, focusing on patient satisfaction while delivering excellent care. AHRQ, no date. This can pose a threat to the business in terms of the loss of credibility, a loss of customers' trust, and the potential to attract and retain customers, clients, incompetent clinical workers. Evaluation of benchmark underperformance with potential uh, for improvement. The dashboard identifies numerous opportunities that medical center can target to improve outcomes and provide the maximum overall benefit and the quality domain. Possible areas for improvement can be selected according to the degree of risk, the patient, the organization's financial and human costs, and the actors involved. One of the essential directions for development and improvement is the testing and evaluation of diabetes and related conditions. As stated by the CDC 2022, 
Timely identification of the complications related to diabetes can help stop the disease's advancement and improve the quality of life among diabetes patients. Another decision noted in the medical center, uh, direction noted in the medical center, is the number of human resources available in the organization. While it is evident that current um, dashboard does not point to potential low staffing rates at the Mercer Medical Center, it must be understood that staffing is one of the significant areas that healthcare organizations should consider. Villa Health no date. This is because starting levels and burnout rates often lead to fatigue determining the quality of care and patient satisfaction. This factor also has an impact on a large number of stakeholders including patients, staff, and management. It is thus justifiable that the organization should aim at increasing staffing levels, thereby improving care quality and outcomes, AHRQ 2021. The above proportion should therefore pay attention to two aspects, namely proactive diabetes care and staffing levels, which will help enhance the care quality and eradicate the underperformance gap. My assumption for the conclusion made lies in the trend of performance recorded. Advocating for ethical and sustainable actions. Low-performance low areas can strategically benefit from quality improvement and local and national performance indicators can support this. Still, at the same time, it has to be done with ethical consideration. For instance, particular emphasis should be placed on delivering training and education-related quality improvement activities concerning practitioner and staff interaction and interdependence, including nursing personnel, physicians, other healthcare employees, and managerial staff, AHRQ 2021. Since the emphasis will be on creating awareness of underperformance and directing attention to the proper improvement indicators, staff and managers' collaboration on, and cooperation are crucial. In analyzing metric performance, organizational leadership and ethics entail the interaction of organizational culture, which reflects ethical behavior, care quality, and leadership, DEHEAD All 2024. Based on the findings, it is recommended that there is a need for um, the medical care facility to establish a clear ethical standard that would guide the management and employees, advance the competencies of those working in the institution, and ensure that patients in the medical care facility are provided with all-inclusive treatment services, the HRQ 2021. Justice is um, an ethical principle that would have to be pursued to enhance the clinical results for patients with chronic diseases, including diabetes, because it holds that every member of the population should be able to receive care regardless of race or ethnicity. One of them will be improving the overall healthcare results for the calculated population, especially those identified as underserved. Conclusion. Um, in conclusion, the dashboard um, analysis helps understand where a healthcare organization is lagging and which areas require enhancement. Regarding the deliverable, it has been found that the value of care at medical centers could be further improved by increasing patients' understanding of different examinations and tests associated with diabetes. It specifies that particular measures that do not meet or um, exceed the standards describes the possible uh, verse out, um, console the state of affairs, and points out the possibilities for development. This is a reference page. It is also a final page. Thank you for watching, and I hope you now have a better idea about how this assessment should look like for a submission. Thank you all. Boris Kerman. Bye.